with me fly by for having a nice time to soar around in the full straight. And here we go. Timer starts in three seconds and already hit the green light for go. And we are underway and let's do our best out there. Try to be fast and be clean and try to be very careful out there. So let's do it to see some good racing progress to be made. Looks like this is going to be very good onto the first turn, so keep it well proper position whenever each tire is to be selected to use. Just going to have to keep it careful onto the second turn, and here comes the turn three onto the hairpin. This wheel has to going in onto the school circuit layout. Oh, that was so close. That was pretty too close to call to see it. Now, looks like this is going to be going over to nearly towards the exit of the school circuit layout. And, oh man, it looks like I just barely got spun out, folks. I just barely got hit, and this is going to be dropped down onto a position whenever it's going to be stopping at onto the last place. So it looks like this is going to be having a penalty to be going under investigation to see it. So it looks like I just barely stopped at 19th place. This race is going to be very challenging, so just going to be expected whenever each opponent could probably has to use a breaking point. Just to be expected to be safe whenever this is going to have to take some skills to be performed. Now coming in onto that turn, this is going to be taking a good straight technique. We'll have to take a quick left. Going to be having a good oversteer technique. So this wheel had to take some only few drivers will be taking the chicane and here comes the yellow flag signal viewers. This is going to have to take it nice and slow. Okay, looks like this is going to be having hunting view is now dropping down onto 18th place and looks like UKTR has took the first lap for only a new fastest lap time for only a minute and 43.960 seconds and looks like several drivers just barely having a hard time out there to be at the last turn after the chicane. Moving on to the second lap after taking a one tough first lap, but this wheel might be getting started out to begin. Everybody should probably have to take a lot of good racing skills out there because it's going to be very method that this wheel might be needs to determine. Gonna catch up quick. UTRS Insport Tech has definitely making one step focus to be reached up to the top because this wheel might have a good way to have a new livery design by having a 2008 model of the Super GT500 in the Nissan GTR. Besides having the use of the 2016 HEP model, was definitely used from the last season. Better to be titled as the exhibition stage when we race on circuit to call Franca Champs. But that was definitely might be given the method choice that this will be fine selected. Gonna have to catch up onto GTR1 Scylla in 12th place in his own custom livery. Just gonna need to get closer by taking the slipstream, by taking the medium straight. And here comes to the next turn. He could probably take the outside. I can do the inside. Several drivers just barely almost lost control of the handling system, so just gonna need to take a little bit more time. Just take a little short recovery, so. I know this is going to be a lot of excitement, just going to have to find a good way to do a racing patient out there, keep it nice and slow, and take it easy to ourselves. Okay, pretty close call after coming out of the chicane. Nidre House 13 is going in to catch up onto the Honda NSX. Andrew 1032 is going forward to be in ninth place. I bet this is going to be taking a good speed for only two 2016 Super GT models are about to be going in onto the first turn. Taking on to the dirt lap, we'll proceed, and looks like this is going to be very great by having a distance. Dietrich House 13 could probably keep it going. This could be his main focus to catch up onto the NSX. Going in to commence the overtake. This will might have to take that hairpin. Keep it nice and slow. Still almost trying to have a good stability position, viewers. This is going to have to take one important racing opportunity. Just keep a good maintain on the pace and don't get yourself loosened up by preventing a spin out. That's going to be the only fine weakness for only group 2 category. Just find a way to overcome it. But this wheel might do plenty more practice if everybody could probably might need to do it after the race ends. Second chance will be doing available for only several last place drivers. But it's only gonna have to, oh man, it looks like, there you go, there you go, folks. 
Yep, our team Boopy has barely took the hit and now looks like he's just barely lost control by preventing a spin out. That's gonna be a one hard push to see if here folks. Try not to make one hit before taking the turn will be approaching in. But this is gonna be pretty intense to see it. But looks like GTR1 still has just put a penalty for only one second. Now this is gonna have to take ignoring the track limit. Otherwise, this will might have a second choice that everybody should probably might need to be very careful. Try not to hit anybody before taking the turn will be going in. That's gonna be a hardest thing to do, but just gonna need to keep it careful to be exercise caution. Going forward to take the fourth lap, bet everybody is gonna have to take a little more precision skill to be on the focus. It looks like UKTR Chris 0485583 is now going in to take the lead. It looks like Kill Kenny 1225 is going in. He can probably reach up onto first place to catch up onto UKTR Chris in no time. It looks like Dr. Love 9 is going to be in third place. This is going to have to take a one solid battle to be in second place, viewers. It looks like this is going to have to take that shark hairpin. Going in to take one heavy left turn. We'll be going right onto the position on the right. It looks like UKTR is taking the slow position to be at the chicane. Just gonna have to make sure this will have to keep a